Hello there internet and welcome back to this let's play of Spelunky. Today we will continue on our road towards depression by attempting to get the no gold run. Let me just adjust my microphone here a little bit. There we go. So, uh, how do I expect this to go? Well, this will be my fourth attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt. And the first three didn't go very well at all. Um, but we do get a crate right off the bat here. Um, or do we? All right, let's just start over. <laughs> that was a warm up round. Um, I don't, uh, I don't intend on starting over immediately after something goes wrong, but that was just too annoying to look at. Um, Okay, so no goal runs are probably the most difficult ones in the game. Uh, you need to be in a very particular mindset to get them. You need to constantly think about where to go and where not to go. It's not like a speed run where it's pretty obvious what you want to do, you just need to go to the exit. <clears throat> Here you need to think quite a bit more. And as a result, my commentary will be much more broken up than it otherwise would be. <clears throat> so it looks like we are getting two crates down here, which is really good. If one of them contains a plasma cannon, I will... Ah, oh, this is so tempting. If one of them contains a plasma cannon, I will probably um, just stop this no goal run immediately let's see what what we have math ropes we have spike shears those are decent upgrades um so i will probably not kill the shopkeeper because of the fact that shopkeepers are annoying to deal with uh, hopefully i'll get some more um some more bombs later So I think it's pretty much universally accepted that this is probably the most difficult. Oh, God damn it! Probably the most difficult um, challenge or achievement of them all. We can't even light these damn torches because I saw some green stuff here. What's going on here? I also heard a bat somewhere. Where is that? Uh, this is not good at all. Somehow managed to get out of there without taking damage. Alright, that dude is completely dead. He's got so much good stuff. Alright, um... I need that jetpack. I got it. That's perfect. That's wonderful. That's gonna make this so much easier. We even have a shotgun now and 16 bombs. This is some, everything we could hope for. Now, if we just could just get a compass or something, something like that, everything would be completely wonderful. Um, so it's actually a little tricky to get paste out of this guy because, yeah, as you can tell now, he's just completely full of gems. So I'll probably not even bother. Could put a bomb down from below and try to see if we can uh, make something happen there. Hey, we have a compass. Why did I ask for a compass right before? This That shop was the best one ever for uh, as far as... Uh, as far as, as no gold run is concerned. Yeah, I was hoping I could get down there without triggering that shopkeeper because he's gonna be very annoying. Even if one shopkeeper kills, uh, kills the other, it's, it's gonna be annoying to deal with because... because we then have to deal with the gold that he drops. Okay, it's so a good thing that we came over here, actually. Okay, we don't have paste. <laughs> I thought we had paste. Yeah. And good thing that I didn't just get hit by a bunch of gold right there. Where is Monty at? We could sacrifice him. I hear him. Oh, he's up here. 
I should probably just get out. It's not like health is gonna help me so much anyway. Ah, oh, god damn it! I was so hoping that there would be room for me right there. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That, that run was looking so good. That was gonna be the run, the urn. But nope, it wasn't. Uh, I can't even do anything here. Can let's just start over. I guess I gotta put down a bomb. Good thing about this is that I still need the achievement of getting 1,000 deaths. And uh, those are coming fast and furious this way. Uh, it has fired. I think it looks like it's fired. This is the worst part of it. The fact that you need to whip everything the entire time. Oh, I'm not even sure what I was trying there. Um, crates. Which I can't get. Probably still worth the bomb though. Uh, two bombs for three revs. Pretty bad deal. Oh, bombs? Nope, rips. Hmm. Interesting one so far. That was pretty lucky. Oh, that was. I wouldn't even say it was unlucky, it was just plain stupid. All right, down to two health already. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah, let's risk it. That's really dumb. And I'm dead. I'm not sure what I was trying to do there. I got stressed out, I think. Too much stuff going on. So let's try and restart this seed and see if we can get something else going. I guess we didn't restart anything by doing that. Oh. <laughs> uh, Spelunky is difficult. All right, bunch of crates. Crates are good. So let's just get this pot out of the way because it could contain gold. And indeed it did. Ropes, useful enough. But I want something better. <laughs> but I'm not getting that. Monty's a little bit out of the way. What? I did not know you could do that. Well, how'd you know? Learning something every day in Splunky. That's really good to know, I guess, because... I can't really come up with a situation where it's very useful, but let's just try it again. Blech. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Uh, why did it work the other time? Maybe because it was still hanging? I don't know. Spelunky is an evil mistress. And there is so much gold there that I can can't even get Monty. Alright, getting the key would be useful though, but I don't really see that happening either. So let's just try and see if we can move on. Shopkeeper's got anything? No, not really. So let's just move on. I want to make it out of the mines at least once. That's uh my good old criterion for success that I'm sticking to here. Uh, Alright, at least it's a fast floor. Sometimes it does feel kind of like speedrunning, except not at all. Uh, 
And what else do we have here? Another shopkeeper who's got some good stuff, I would say. Matic is really, really, really good for um, for his kind of run. I don't think I can that it's worth having um, angry shopkeepers for the entirety of the rest of the run. So I do see that art air trap, but it looks like it's not gonna get triggered. I will trigger it myself though, because I also want to get that Monty to the altar. Because that altar it could be the difference. And um, there is also a crate here. Um, could be the difference that we need in this run to make it a good one. So we have 12 ropes. That's uh, just Spelunky robbing it in after that uh, that good seed we had before. Alright, so Pitcher Smith is not gonna be what we need. All right, we did make it out of the mine, so that's what I wanted before. There's a kissing booth that we can use for anything. Uh, sort of looks like the um, the black market blooming right now, but I think it's a little too light. Could be useful to go to the black market. Would also be useful to just get out of this level, so uh, let's just do that. I'm not really sure why I'm bringing this arrow. It's not really useful for anything, I think. There's no arrow traps or anything of the like here, so... Huh. This, on the other hand, is kind of interesting. We could get a shotgun here. And we could go to the Haunted Castle. The Haunted Castle should be easy, right? But um, can we do that without also picking up the crown? I don't think we can. It's gonna be tricky anyway. And the crown is worth money, so we don't want that. I think we should just move to the exit instead and find the shotgun. Oh, that's dumb. All right, the shotgun's here. So that's good. I just make, made it a lot harder for myself to actually get it. And that's even worse. I still don't have pace, but that somehow managed that somehow worked anyway, so that's good. We do have shotgun now, but we only have one health. Um, which means that I need to complete the rest of the game with either without taking damage or finding some Montes soon. Beast would also be really useful here. Uh, nothing else to do. But on the bright side, we still haven't picked up any gold. And that's what this is all about. You go out of the way fast, okay? Please, <laughs> please don't resurrect yourself like that. Oh, I forgot that you take damage when you do that. That was a rookie mistake. A pretty bad one as well. All right, so uh, last run. Let's see if we can make something happen here. If nothing else, we uh, do have a bunch of arrows. Unfortunately, arrows do not help you at all. I guess they do help you. Until you run into a spider with them because you think the spider dies when you when you do. Then they sort of anti-help you. Snake pits? Hmm. It would be nice to get a medic. But we're on the wrong side, it seems. No f I mean, the bombs are good, but that's the only thing there. Of course, also the shotgun. I think the shotgun would probably be really beneficial for the temple. Not really before that. All right, so spider level. We do get all the special seeds here. It's just interesting. Hired help. Um, does not interest me the slightest. This is frightening. This is really frightening, actually. Oh, Monty, come up here. Um, I screwed myself over, I'm pretty sure. If I could make that one spider jump on the spikes, I would be so much happier with this. It did, I think. I'm pretty sure it did. It did, and we do get paced. So just need to be faster than gravity here. Oh, that didn't work. 
Also, faster than gravity makes no sense. That's what no gold runs do to you. I also did say that the previous one was the last one, but now this is the last one. All right, this is almost a speed run. How much was that? 11 seconds or something like that? 10 seconds. That's really good. Let's do a speed run. Actually, let's do an old goal run. I already have the speed run achievements. Uh, not quite what I wanted to do. It took some damage there. It's pretty stupid. Let's see, is there anything over here other than the key? I don't think so. So let's just move on. So a uh, nice and easy first two floors here. Another snake pit. It's interesting. Good. Uh, but still, not really that interesting. It's tricky getting the uh, Matic in the snake pit. That's the reason why I'm hesitating. It's right down there amongst two rubies, a bunch of enemies, and you need to blow up some rocks. And there is a very high chance that some of those rocks contain gold as well. Alright, what else do we have here? We have a very easy sacrifice, so I'm definitely going down there. Question is if I should use a bomb or I should just run through. <laughs> I need to use a bomb. That's absolutely certain. So hopefully if I put it here, the chance that any of the rocks contain gold is going to be very small. And indeed none of them did. Get more bombs. That is good, of course. And what else do we get? Spike shoes. Spike shoes are good. Um, this is a little scary. Get all of those spiders out of my face. That is probably triggered, but now it definitely has. And what else do we have? Oh, so many bombs! We have six bombs, so six bombs is not bad. We probably need more, though. But we also probably don't need angry shopkeepers. Same logic coming back to me over and over again. Can we make it to the ice caves? That would be um, a success. I mean, I think I've made it to the ice caves before on no gold run. Um, well, it still would be nice to try again. Even being on the jungle feels a little off because we spend so much time on the uh, on the mines. Um, also, complete shit. How far did we make it before? Only to two one, I think. No, two, three, right? We made it through a dead or restless level, and onwards, and then we died, I think. All right, so the um. Shotgun should be easy to get here. Could be a gem in one of those, because I don't have the Ujida, so I couldn't see that. But still, it's probably, if you're sort of want to min-max this, the best idea to only go for the rocks where you know that there is no gold. I guess that's pretty obvious. Um, so I'm hoping that the exit will be over here, and indeed it will. We did get another chance to go to the Haunted Castle. Um, <clears throat> which is interesting because for a long while I struggled trying to find, it, find a Haunted Castle to begin with. Um, and maybe I should have. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I can't really figure out exactly how difficult it's going to be to get... Oh, that was really close to that gold. Oh, more bombs. How difficult it's going to be to get to the uh, Haunted Castle in the first place. Alright, so I really need to watch out for gold. There can so easily be gold hidden around. It takes even more concentration than I 
first anticipated. So Monty's probably dead there, but I do want to bring the shotgun. I think shotgun is worth it. <laughs> you can probably tell by my commentary exactly when I'm scared and when I'm not. That was a situation where I was scared. Because Monty's indeed very dead. Which is not good. At least we're still alive now. We do get a very nice amount of crates. Ropes could be useful enough. Um, it's not unlikely that we will need those in the ice caves, um, should we actually make it there. And that's beginning to look very likely. Uh, lots of enemies. Oh. Uh, is there any gold? Oh, there's another crate. That's beautiful. Let's just get that guy out of there. Get some more ropes. I would obviously prefer something better. But beggars cannot really be choosers, can they? Concentration. Concentration. Yep, that was risky, but worth it. Um, so it would be nice to kill that big frog for his branches. But he doesn't look like he's really willing to get up here. Or is he? Is he? He could be. Oh yeah, he drops gold as well. That was probably a mistake. Nothing really ha bad happened though. Oh, uh, double spike trap across the sky. I guess it's not really a trap as much as it's a, as it's a uh, what do you call them? Oh, challenge. No gold as far as I can tell, and we're on to the ice caves. We don't have any gold yet. Things are beginning to look up. Still only have three health. That's um, probably not enough. Uh, wow, it's been a long time since I've been in the ice caves. Almost a week to be uh, precise. And want to look out for snow. Um, because in snow piles, um, you will occasionally see, occasionally see um, hidden gems. Just looked up at the score right there to make sure that I hadn't picked any up by accident at any time. That would have been devastating. Alright, so I guess we are making it over here. Really want to watch out not to take full damage here. The crate is in a nasty looking position. I had to go either this way or over the mammoth. This is probably the safer one. Even though it's not really safe at all. There's another crate. And perhaps we can use this UFO to trigger it. I guess not. Monty's there as well. What's my exit strategy here? Something like this. Okay, we have a parachute. This is probably the first time in my Spelunky career where I'm very happy that we have a parachute. Of course, now we do not have a parachute anymore. But uh, that one... This is definitely useful. This is pretty dumb. There we go. <laughs> now we have another parachute. <clears throat> That's good. All right, so there is a mancha I could have probably gotten. There is another crate that I could have probably also gotten, but we're still alive. That's the most important thing. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with the Olmec boss fight if we ever make it there. Seems like that one's gonna be very tricky. Uh, also, this one appears to be slightly tricky as well. Get that UFO out of the way, if at all possible. Nope, apparently not. Well, screw it then. Let's just see what else we have. Something like a slightly safer passage, perhaps? Should watch out for that, though. 
It's a little bit risky, but I think useful. Because it would have given me another Lich to grab onto, but then I simply didn't use that at all. Uh, is there a mountain nearby? There's another crate. Which I will get. And I do hear Monty. Get more bombs. Okay, so that's worth it. Um, could sacrifice Monty. Well, let's just move on. This was 3-2? Three, 3-3, two? Three, three actually. Wow, we're almost in the temple. I think that would be a new record. All right, so I want to get sure, make sure that all of this goes out of the way. This is scary, but I can use this guy to create a passage downwards. Watch out for hidden gems. And flying <laughs> sapphires. So many UFOs. I think I just barely managed to not get hit by something there. I'm not sure. I'm s oh, this is horrible. Again, I could have easily gotten hit, gotten hit by a, a sapphire there. Did I just call the emerald an emerald before? I think I did. Easy bombs. Let's not bother. That trade could contain something wonderful, or that uh, that package. But oh shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, sucks. Um. All right. So, what do we need to look out for here? Anubis will be dangerous, of course. Oh, that thing could be as well. Die. Just, God damn it! I mean, this guy's gonna one-shot me. Good, he's gone. Oh shit, this is horrible. And th this is the only way down, isn't it? I think it is. I think I... How the hell do I do this? Uh, there's... No good way of doing this, I think. Is there? Alright, I'm gonna put down a rope. It's gonna burn up. But then I'll go over here and somehow that arrow trap didn't kill me. I guess it had been triggered already. There's Anubis. Also something to watch out for. He's gonna start blasting me very soon. Let's make it over here. Hopefully there's not a crushy block. Oh, shit, the exit's on the other side? That's really weird. And this is really annoying. At least they sort of light out, light out the way a little bit. Where is the exit? Yeah, well, that's Anubis. I can't use him for anything. I guess I could use a scepter, maybe? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Also, time is running out. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> is Anubis dead? He's not. Of course he's not. Why would he be dead? Just die, goddammit. All right, Anubis is dead now. So just wait for a second. Take it easy. Relax. Whoa! Uh, okay, so what's better, the scepter or the shotgun? I think the shotgun is. Unless I want to go for like a... Um, hell no gold speedrun. Oh. Why is that guy angered? I wasn't even near him. All right, so if he could just telefrag himself soon, that would make me a much happier person. No, that was close. Holy oh, shit, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, all right, take it easy. We 
we're still alive somehow. I just want to make a very clean passage down. Okay, is he gone? I think he might be. All right, that was um, slightly intense. I think would be one way of putting it. Is this error tra triggered? Oh, I just lost my shotgun, didn't I? Uh, okay, so this is 4-2. We still have a few levels to go, so I can't be too liberal with my... Um, shit. With my robes. Yeah, there is simply no way. Even though it is very close. Um... I guess we'll use an arrow. Yeah, on the other hand, there is only one more level where we could really use the shotgun, so maybe it's not too bad. It would <laughs> make killing this guy a lot easier, for example. So... Ropes. Ropes are actually... Oh shit, that was also very close. <laughs> Ropes could be very useful here. Could you uh, dissipate? Thank you. Um, I don't think there is a good way out here. I will use the color bombs. Should be easy enough to get around this way. And this guy, is he gonna come up here? He's not. Is he? Fuck yes! <laughs> All right, we're still alive. Is this error trap triggered? No, it is. There's another mommy. Good thing we have spike shoes, though. Spike shoes uh, might be the unsung hero of this one. Except now it's sung, of course. This is also horrible. We're getting very close to the end right now, Frandy. Fre Frandy? What the hell is a Frandy? Uh... All right. Holy shit. Holy shit. So I want to somehow find a way down which is not completely written with gold. But that's going to be difficult because I don't have the Ujira, so I can't really tell where there is gold and where there is not. Um, let's get rid of this guy first of all. Whew. Is there a clean passage? This actually looks almost clean. Um, So the way I want to do this is, uh, first of all, get Olmec as far out of the way as possible. <laughs> Would have been nice if I had somehow blocked the uh, the exit with some gold there. And by nice, I mean horrible. Okay. So Olmec should be out of the way. He did spawn some enemies. That is a concern. Um, right, so how, what are we looking at here? This does indeed look clean. Okay, we have all the time in the world. We have all the time in the world. There is no re- Fuck. There is no reason to rush this. Okay, so as long as the um, gold is gonna spawn on one side, I should be okay. That's not what I wanted to do, though. What am I looking at now? That'd make the situation worse. But I can still fix this. I can still fix this. I can still fix this. 
Uh, it's still not l looking tremendously bad. In fact, this might just be it. Just want to make sure that there's a clean passage all the way down, and there's not. Alright, so I only have two... This is not a problem, actually. Uh, Olmec will crush the last one. Now I just need to be very focused and make sure that Olmec does not somehow fall into the pit all by himself. And I don't think that's going to be the case. Because if Olmec had fallen down there, what would have happened would be that he would be stuck down there. But now we actually are very close to the exit. Is there any gold around? No, I don't think so. There's one down there and we freaking made it. <laughs> Low score. That's wonderful. This took a bunch of attempts, but we finally got it. Oh, that feels very good. That's the worst, definitely worst, the worst achievement out of the way. Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> wow. God. Damn it. I will be remembered as a hero, will I? Won't I? Alright, that's really good. Uh, now all we need to do is find the last Spelunker who should be in the temple somewhere. Um, although it's weird that I haven't found him yet, but I guess many people get that achievement as the last one. And I need to die something like... How many times? 750 more times. 754 actually. Uh, so that's also gonna take a while. Uh, this was really good. My heart is still beating from those last temple levels. That was intense. Um, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I definitely did. For now, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you some other time.